Hi, this time I would like to show you another interesting project that I have been working on and that is reading of the CO2 data over one wire bus. For this I'm using cheap sensor MQ135, you can get this on AliExpress for one euro or something like this and it's connected again to Arduino Pro Mini and the data is sent either as DS18B20 one wire sensor or DS2438. Here is basic pinout of this project. You need to use four wires to connect MQ135 to Arduino Pro Mini. VCC goes to VCC, ground goes to ground, digital input goes to the pin number two, and analog input goes to analog input zero. Then you will need two more wires, one for one wire ground, the second one for one wire data. So default, this data output is pin number 8. And that's all you are going to need from the pinout point of view. Fine, so I have switched to the Arduino IDE again. You will need to get the project, it's as always in the video description. So download it, extract it and load it to Arduino IDE. You will get something like this. This is some basic instruction about the project, you can read it. This is the sensor that you are going to need. And these are the libraries that you have to install. Let's scroll a little bit down and this is the basic setting of this project. It's really similar to the DHT project, if you've seen it, it's more or less the same. You can enable if to use DS18B20 or if to use DS2438, but I don't suggest you to use both of them at the same time. Next important part is the pin definition. You can see there is defined digital input which is currently not in use but maybe in the future version it will be used and the, the input will appear as a DS2401 device. This is your analog input and the last one is one wire output. Next important bit is this reading interval. Uh, now it's set to five seconds. You can make it longer, shorter, this is up to you. Uh, but uh, I would leave it like this. Another important bit is this init delay. Uh, MQ135 uh, needs to get warm up before it can get some relevant readings. Uh, I have tested it and let's say after three minutes the readings are quite okay. So I suggest you to leave this delay in. Uh, it's set to three minutes and uh, when the device starts it waits three minutes and after that it starts to read the data from the sensor. Next section is related to the DS18B20 settings. This is definitely the easy way how to get the data from the sensor, but I have to say it's much less accurate uh, compared to the DS2438. Uh, you can set the DS18B20 ratio. Uh, this defines how precise the reading is, uh, because the reading is set as a temperature in the range 0 to 125 degrees. This can hold 2000 values. Uh, this means if the ratio is 1, you could have maximum 2000 ppm. If you set the ratio to 5, which is like this, you get the maximum result 10,000 ppm. But you will lose some precision. I would definitely suggest you to use DS2438, which is much more precise. Let's check this section. There isn't much to be said, uh, it's more about reading. Uh, really important bit is this line, this helps you how to get the data from the sensor. Because the value from the sensor is sent as a two different values, it's sent as a temperature and it's also set as the VAD voltage. And you need to combine both of them to get the correct result, but it gives you really precise reading and this is the maximum value that can be read from the sensor and it should cover absolutely everything. And I also have to mention that the analog reading from the sensor is sent as a VDD voltage, so you can read it also in the software where you need to use this. So this is more or less everything about the configuration of this project. Uh, I also have to mention that at the first run the device generates its own one wire address and this is stored in the EEPROM. It's really the same thing like we did with the humidity and temperature sensor. So let's load the data to the module. I'm using again Arduino Pro Mini. In my case it's connected to the COM port number 7. So I can compile the project. And let's load it to the Arduino. I have opened already the console. 
Okay, you can see that it's generating random one wire address. I'm currently using both devices, so these are their addresses. We have to wait that three minutes until the sensor gets ready. So, sensor is ready and we received first reading from it. At this time, the data are already transmitted over one wire bus, so let's switch to the Logstone config and let's find those one wire devices. Select your one wire extension and search for one wire devices. This one is our DS18B20 device, so let's name it MQ1351. Create a device. Scroll down, there will be this one is our second device, so name it MQ1352 and create the device. You can create the new page, I call it test again, and I can grab MQ135 values to this page. So this is DS18B20, and for this DS2438 I need temperature, VAD voltage, and the VDD voltage. We can save the data to the mini server. It has been successfully saved, so we can start live view and also open one wire monitor. You can see that we have some data, but they look quite strange. Don't worry, it's perfectly fine. Let's first focus on the DS18B20. You will need to use one more time the correction. Please check the note in the Arduino IDE file. The conversion will depend on values you will send in this IDE project. If you have the ratio like this, this means 5, you need to multiply 16 by this ratio, so it's 80. If you will have ratio 1, then you will enter the value 16. So let's enter 80 in our case. Input value 2 will be 1 and display value 2 will be 80. And we should probably also change the units, will be PPM. For DS2438 the situation is more complicated and you will need to use the formula to convert the value. So search for formula. Add one more input and link the inputs to the values. Input 1 is the temperature, input 2 is the VAD voltage. Formula is also described in this Arduino project. So let's scroll down and this is the formula that you have to paste to the Loxon. So copy it and paste it to the formula. And we can create a virtual state, link it to the result of the function, you can also define PPM units and save it to the mini server. And let's start live view one more time. You can see that both values are now 80 and if I open the Arduino console and uh, the value that should be there it's 80.94 but of course we'll use the decimal part so, so the value is there. I also forgot to mention that in this VDD voltage this is the, actually the voltage that comes from MQ135 sensor. So here you go you can read MQ135 data over one wire bus. Hope you enjoyed this project. I would like to add more in the future, so stay tuned. Have a nice day. Bye.